The forest has always been something really spooky and scary, even though I've never been there. But based on my experience on horror game, pretty sure it's scary. But anyway, today we're looking at forest, uh, forest ranger services. The pilot. I think the pilot is a chapter because the pilot was written on the game page and it's not in here. So I assume it's a sort of chapter like Here's to Fathom Home Alone. So we have Forest Ranger Services D pilots. All right, but anyway, I don't know why the you know the UI seems to be really tiny. It's like I have to squint my eyes in order to see it, but that's okay. We can't new game, man. They are tiny. Well, I guess my editor can zoom in. No problem at all. My editor is a hardworking person. And I'm willing to bet that he will do it. Anyway, you are a wannabe aspiring reporter. Hey, oh my god. I did not read that. It was time to get... Oh, you apply for a job as a forest ranger to get a first-hand account of the disappearances. Okay, well, that went pretty fast. All I can tell is that I'm a reporter. And I report. Thanks. Is that, like... Are those, like, the noises you're supposed to make when you walk? Because, um... Doesn't seem to be so normal. Anyway, oh, I can run. Alright, well, into the forest we go. I don't know. I don't know who would go report. Report in the middle. In the middle of the night, but. Okay, here I am. Of course, you know, in horror games, there are just always that main character who is really dumb. And that's totally understandable. Understandable. Because it's a horror game. Anything can happen. Anyone can be dumb. Like, you gotta be dumb. So you can get the spooky of it. I appreciate that. Thank you for being dumb. Okay, the pig is uh, being real aggressive. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh my god. Slenderman? S Slenderman? Since when you got clothes? Since when you- since when you change- oh. Hey there, nice crawlers. You're locked in with Station 5, where the news takes a walk on the wild side. I'm your man in the shadows, Mike Stone. Have you guys heard about these missing hikers? All over our national parks, this isn't something you hear about anymore. But check out these stats. According to the latest data from the National Park Service, around 1,000 to 2,500 people go missing in national parks and forests each year. Death Valley, Yellowstone, Cascades, uh, all kinds of reports. Death Valley. People. The numbers are not. Death Valley seems Death to Valley be pretty here. familiar. Found after days in the woods. I've heard that somewhere. Pretty sure. Or how they got lost. Now, folks, these aren't isolated incidents. Another displayed signs of. Oh. Oh, wait. Also, there wasn't any objective at all. I just went in there. Is it like an optional thing? It seems like it's actually an optional thing. So I heard of Death Valley before. It seems like there was... Is it... Fierce, fierce to Fathom Death Valley? Evening. What can I get you? Uh, just grabbing some supplies. I'm a new ranger in the area. Another one, huh? You guys are a dime a dozen. What's that supposed There's to mean? There's a new guy here just about every other month. Uh. Some people just don't last out in the woods. Get a bit creepy. You know. Yeah. Okay. Is that like all you have to say for me? Like, oh my god. But the forest is so creepy. You gotta avoid it. You shut up. I know what I'm doing. Anyway, what am I grabbing? 
Is that like all? Like I just came in here to like talk to you about how spooky the forest is and just leave? Am I not gonna buy anything? Like seriously? Hey, uh, do you know what I was supposed to buy? Presumably not. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to my car now. Thank you for the service, even though I did not buy anything at all. All right, gonna keep on with Recent my way. Rescue teams highlight a puzzling trend. A significant number of those who are located after going missing in the wild often exhibit strange mental conditions. We're talking about disorientation, uh, memory loss, and in some cases, ha, bizarre behavior uh, that leaves rescuers and medical professionals baffled. But some of these disappearances just don't make any sense. You got experienced hikers, um, forest workers, lumberjacks, and even rangers. Just about 5% of these missing people are never found. Um, they just go missing without any trace. They search for these people for weeks, and they find absolutely nothing. Now that's a staggering figure, and it's got us wondering what exactly is happening out there in the wilderness. What if I told you there's a secret experience? What? Wait. It's the same gas station. What? Huh? What's... What? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's creepy. Hello. Looks like you something you're looking for is missing. What do you mean? What am I missing? Hello? New ranger, huh? They come and go like the wind. Whispering pines play tricks. You'll find. I think I'm lost. Can you help me out with some directions? Yeah, it's not normal when you're, you know, just start driving and, you know, you found that. You found the same place again. That's Lost not normal. recently. Vanished in the woods, swallowed whole. Happens more than you'd ever be told. Been um. here a while, seen the faces change. Rangers like you, their stories rearrange. Something in these woods, something strange. Good luck, Ranger. The forest's a maze. It knows who stays and who decays. Okay, anyway, uh, how did you get here exactly? Alright, I'm just gonna leave now. Hello, coffee piece? Right, pretty weird. Fascinating. Um, I'm gonna leave now. I'll let you guys have your you know, fun time. My head are getting louder. Tonight, they're whispering your name. <laughs> Buckle up. Oh, Jesus the, the, the Christ! Hiker, when the search and rescue teams finally found him, it wasn't what was that? The evidence of his ordeal was written in the mutilated flesh of his own fingers, chewed and gnawed in a desperate bid for sustenance. Wow, this sucker, he, he ate his own finger, the fruit must have been out of his mind. Yeah, totally. You will never get out of these woods. Oh no, oh no, oh god, oh god, what now, what is this? How many gas stations are there on the road? I know it's convenient, but it's just too convenient to be real. I don't need another gas station. My gas is so full. Okay. At least the coffee poster piece is still there. Wow, that's not weird at all. You know, hey, also, where's the other dude? All right, I'll close the door to, you know. In shadows deep, where trees entwine. A mystery unfolds. 
a tale malign, through tangled woods where whispers soar, lost are hikers, seen no more, answer the call on the forest breeze. Each ring, a step closer, unravel the twine, find the hikers lost where the shadows align. Well, are you gonna pick it up? Where? There? Here? Here? No, not there. Where? Oh, here. Ha. Huh. Here. Hello? Who is this? Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, that's cool. Tower 6. Do you read me? Over. I read you. Oh. It was pretty interesting. I had a nightmare. That's my bad. Um, shouldn't tell you creepy stories on your first day. So that was made up, right? Actually, no. One of the guys overheard it down at the station. Pretty weird, right? Pretty weird. Ah, oh, that was... I was walking my dog buddy in the forest one evening. I decided to explore a path I didn't know much. But he likes to run around on his own. I lost track of him. He usually comes back in around half an hour or so. Suddenly, I had this urge to look at something on the ground. As I crouched down to look at the ground just out of the corner of my eye. I saw a man in a red sweater standing in front of me. When I looked up to, at his face to say hello or something like that, he disappeared. I freaked out a little bit and quickly started making my way back home on the same path I got there. I stopped and looking around for a buddy. As I turned back to continue home, right in front of me, there was a severe deer leg neatly placed on the forest path. I have not been down on that path since. Ah, uh, well, there's that. Okay. Um, why is why is it called? The, I'm pretty sure the game was called The Pilot. Oh, wait, it's actually set right here. The Pilot. I don't know why it's The Pilot, but... Okay, so everything appears to be a dream. And I don't know if this is a complete two different person. Or I can't really seem to get the story here. So at the beginning... You play as a reporter who found a man in red sweater. And then later on, you play as a park ranger who is having a dream. But everything seems to be about this forest right here. And I assume that there will be another part of this game. Because, you know, mystery and stuff. This is going to be unreal, you know? Spooky. Secrets. There will be part two. I'm pretty sure. Unless the game developer pop in the comments and say that, no, you're wrong. We're not popping out another part. Then that would be a fool of me to look at the camera right now. But anyway, links to the game will be right down in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out. And like always, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and uh, smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, would be really appreciated. And I'll see you guys all in the next new fresh video once again. And all right. Bye guys!